Unfortunately, we begin with breaking news on a shooting in New Mexico involving actor Alec Baldwin. Sheriffs say that one person was killed and another was injured when Baldwin fired a prop gun on a movie set. He has not been charged with a crime. He was questioned after yesterday's shooting, and then he was released. The movie cinematographer, 42-year-old Halina Hutchins, died in this incident. Director Joel Souza was treated at a hospital for unspecified injuries. While filming his new movie in New Mexico on Thursday, actor Alec Baldwin accidentally shot and killed his cinematographer, Helena Hutchinson, and he also wounded his director, Joel Souza. As details surrounding the deaths start to emerge, questions are arising about what legal consequences Baldwin could face. Welcome into TYT Overruled. I'm legal analyst Adrian Lawrence. Now, there is no easy way to go about addressing the legal issues surrounding this type of tragedy, but I will do my best. Here are the three things you may be wondering, including what could come next for actor Alec Baldwin. First, what we know. Baldwin was producing and starring in a new low-budget movie called Rust in New Mexico that started filming on October 6. There were issues from the start, including issues with the prop gun. The second week of filming, the prop gun misfired, and then it did again on Saturday. According to the LA Times, the unionized film crew were complaining about working conditions and a number of them walked off of the project. Those who did not were ordered by producers to leave and the producers brought in non-union crew. Translation, cheaper and unapproved crew. About six hours later, while reportedly practicing a scene in a church, Baldwin fired the prop gun, killing Hutchins and striking Souza. The former died en route to the hospital after being airlifted and the latter was released from the hospital earlier today. Second, Many are asking about criminal liability here, and this appears to be an accidental killing by Baldwin, but that doesn't end the inquiry in terms of criminal liability. The Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office is currently investigating, and Baldwin is said to be cooperating. Given that he held the gun and is a producer, there may be a question of criminal liability as it concerns involuntary manslaughter. Under New Mexico law, involuntary manslaughter basically is an unintentional killing resulting from either recklessness or criminal negligence, and it carries up to 18 months in prison and a fine of $5,000. Basically, whether Baldwin was reckless depends on whether he disregarded the safety of others here, and the facts are still coming out. But per the LA Times, corners were being cut, and they brought in non-union people so they could continue shooting, a knowledgeable person said. There were two misfires on the prop gun on Saturday and the one the previous week, the person said, adding, there was a serious lack of safety meetings on set. And third, as far as it concerns civil liability, yes. I can definitely tell you that Baldwin and co will likely be sued by Hutchinson's family because there's a good chance he's gonna be financially liable in some form or fashion for her death, given that he was holding the gun and is a producer here. Helena Hutchinson was a wife and a mother. She deserves a full accounting of what happened and a full, complete, thorough investigation so that this never happens again. Thanks for watching.